What's up, Josh? How you doing? Oh, good. What's up with you, bro? Good, good. Um, ready to roll? Yep. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, Josh, uh, you know, obviously Louisville tomorrow, um, changing to this new bubble. Um, you know, what do you know about those guys and what's going to take to try to get a win tomorrow night? Um, well, we just finished watching scout today. Um, we went over their plays and stuff today in practice. But um, just us playing our game, you know, getting out and breaks and getting the ball inside and getting to the free throw line. I feel like if we just play our game and just focus in on the game plan, it will be fine. Uh, Josh, you know, Jared again with the Daily News. I know you said Friday after the game um, that you learned that you had a lot of guys and you guys played well together. Um, you know, going through these last few days, being able to kind of look back on your experience in South Dakota, um, what are you guys taking away from that now heading into the Louisville bubble, uh, trying to improve even more? Um, just how much we can compete with any team. I feel like um, even if we're like, you know, outmatched in size or with matchups or something like that, we got a lot of guys, uh, uh, enough depth to uh, just be able to compete with anybody. So that's big. Hey, Josh, Tyler Mansco at Rivals.com. I guess seeing Charles back in those first three games, what do you see out of him? It seems like he's he's better than he was before he got hurt. He's been all over the place. And obviously this week was player of the week for Conference USA. I'm sorry, you repeat that? I think seeing Charles' first three games back from injury, just what have you seen out of him? It seems like he's much better player than what he was before he even got hurt. Uh, yeah, I feel like um, his focus is a lot more is, – is raised just from him being back. I feel like he appreciates the game more, and um, he's just not going to take days for granted. So I feel like we've been seeing that for the, the past three games, the first three games that we played. Uh, Josh, Jared McDonald with the Daily News again. Coach just said – uh, Tavion's kind of a game time decision with his thumb and his hyperextended elbow. You know, if, if he's not able to go or limited in his minutes, I guess how much more are you putting on your own plate and what's it going to take to try to um, fill in the production that you lose if you don't have him? Uh, like I said, I feel like we got a lot of depth on the bench and even in the starting five. So if Tavion's, you know, minutes is limited, then there's next man up. That's going to be our mindset, whether it's me or somebody off the bench, you know. Josh shared with the Daily News, you know, Kenny Cooper was a guy that you wanted to have at the beginning of last year as a team. Um, you weren't able to have him. You get him back this year. Um, first three games, what was it like playing with him in a game action? Uh, it's been fun. You know, Coop is a real solid point guard, so he's been great just being able to just control the offense and get into our sets and all that. So I feel like um, he likes to push the ball, and that's kind of pretty much my game. And um, so I feel like he compliments a lot of us out there on the court, and he's going to be a good point guard for us. Josh, you guys lost a little last year in that tough game in Nashville. I guess how else would it be to bounce back this year with the win over those guys? Uh, that's big. Um, that's something we've been thinking about, you know, the loss last year. It's kind of like motivation for the game tomorrow, and it's just in the back of our minds. You know, we don't want to go out like that, and that's definitely something we're thinking about. And this is something we always we keep telling each other, you know, can't have another game like last year. So that's just going to be motivation for us tomorrow. Uh, Josh, Jared with the Daily News. Again, I asked Coach about this. But those first three games, no fans in attendance. You know, throughout the year, there's going to be limited attendance at most, probably. Yeah. You know, what it was it like playing in front of not that many people? And, and what do you learn from that moving forward? Um, well, it was pretty much – it was different, of course, but it wasn't really – that much of a factor as we thought it would be. Um, at first, it feels kind of weird, you know, just coming out in warm-ups and not seeing any fans. But as the game goes on, I mean, we're just out there playing basketball and we don't really worry about none of that. Um, but I feel like we get a lot of energy from our uh, our bench, and that's big. You know, they're on the bench, they're communicating, they're cheering us on and stuff like that. So we're just, just picking up the energy from the bench that we usually get from the fans. So thanks, Joe. Hey, Kenny, this is Jared McDonald with the Daily News in Bowling Green. Um, you know, first three games in South Dakota, now heading to Louisville. I guess from those first three games, what did you guys learn about your team and uh, what are you taking into that uh, heading into Louisville now? Uh, I think we learned we're really good and we can compete with anybody in the country uh, when we come to play. And um, we're just taking that mindset. We're just going to continue to play hard and continue to take the mindset that we're one of the best teams in the 
in the country and that we can compete with anybody in the country. And so we look forward to tomorrow. Um, Louisville, they're always going to be good. Chris Mack's a good coach, so it'll be a good opportunity for us to um, continue to make a name for ourselves. You know, with Louisville, what's the scouting report on those guys? Uh, they got a really nice uh, guard in Carly Jones. Uh, he kind of dictates everything for them. So it'll be a task for me tomorrow to step up defensively and, you know, uh, be the head of our, head of the snake for our team and just um, take that one-on-one -on -one matchup and contain him. And if we can contain him, I like our chances of winning. Hey, Kenny, Tyler Mansfield, Rivals.com. I guess for you, those first three games now under your belt, just how, how good was it to be back playing again? Oh, man, it felt amazing. Uh, you know, I had some nerves in those first couple of games, you know, just been a year and a half. It's been a while. So, um, but now I'm ready. Uh, got those first few uh, um, under my belt. So I'm ready to go in a new opportunity, a uh, new field. So it's cool. It's good. Ken Barrett McDonald with the Daily News again. Coach says Tavion's kind of a game time decision with his, his thumb injury and his elbow, um, you know, if he's not able to go or if he's limited in his minutes, you know, how much more do you put on your plate and what's it going to take to try to replace what he does if he's not able to be himself? Um, obviously, Tavion's a huge, has huge contributions to our team and uh, with them, we're not the same team, but we have a lot of uh, guys on our, on our team that will step up in that situation. We got Jordan, Colin, um, just other guys that are able to are, are able to step into that role and together could pick up for that slack. Uh, Kenny Farad with the Daily News again. Um, you know, obviously you weren't able to play in the game against Louisville last year. Do you feel like you bring a different perspective into this year's game, um, having had to watch that one, I guess, from the sidelines or on film instead of actually being in it? Yeah, we, you just see how tough they are going to be de defensively. You just know you have to work extra harder and you have to be more deliberate in your movements. So that's uh, that's good to know going into it that it won't be easy and there'll be a battle. So uh, we're kind of taking that mindset that we're we're going to war. You know, we, it's, it's, it's going to be a battle. Louisville's tough. They play hard. So uh, we have every intention of coming in here and winning the game, but we know it, it won't be easy and uh, it'll be a, a hard 40 minutes. You know, Kenny Jared with the Daily News again. Uh, I asked Coach Stansberry and Josh about this. No fans for the South Dakota tournament. Obviously, it's weird, and you're going to have limited attendance probably at most for most of these games. I guess, what did you learn about playing in a situation like that and maybe the importance of trying to create your own energy as a team? Because it seemed like the teams that were able to do that were able to have a little bit of success during that tournament last week. No, absolutely. Just being self-motivated, uh, not needing uh, external factors to – uh, boosted then it's hard you know especially uh you know for older guys who have played the game uh a long time and you know the fans give us energy we feed off the fans but in that situation you have to create your own energy and uh it's a different feel for sure uh you hear everything you hear the opposing coach you hear the, the referees you hear the bench speaking i mean it's it's definitely a new feel but um it's definitely uh something that I feel like I, the guys have done a good job with the just creating their own energy, coming out from the jump and just um, being in attack mode. Kenny Hunter-Smith with WBKO. Just, you know, how much would a win over the this Louisville team mean for WKU just going forward the rest of the season? Um, I think it would mean a ton. Uh, it's our last high major opponent uh, on our non-conference schedule. So it'll be great to get that power five win under our belt before, you know, heading into um, the rest of the non-conference and in the conference, because Louisville's a tournament type team and the West Virginia team we played was a tournament type team. So those kind of games, it's good to see where you're at and what you need to work on, you know, uh, because you almost can learn more from a loss than you can a win. So that West Virginia loss, it hurt, it stung, but we realized what we needed to do, how to contain runs. We need to slow it down and play at our pace, but, there's value in these high major games, you know, that you play early and uh, just for the non-conference and, you know, hopefully down the road when we're playing another team just like West Virginia um, in the tournament. Uh, Kenny Jared with the Daily News again. Uh, obviously, you guys believed you were deep coming into this season. There was a point in Friday's championship game uh, early in the first half where you guys had five bench players on the floor at once. Um, obviously, Charles being in some foul trouble probably played into that, but did you see it? Being, I guess, to that extreme, having five guys off the bench at once playing on the floor. Um, Absolutely. Kind of we, have a, 
bunch of good role guys that uh, come off the bench to bring good energy. And uh, in practice, you know, uh, that's where the tone was set. That's when we realized what we had on the bench. You know, those guys, those guys didn't back down at all. They came to practice every day, uh, competing, wanting to win drills, win everything. So that's when I knew that we had eight to 10 guys that could that we could go to war with, that we have that we can play in big games, big moments, and I knew we were going to be good. okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Kenny.